Bowman here from BW1.com, and we're going to take a look at the new music app for Android. Now, this is the official app released by Google in preparation for Music Beta by Google Service, the new online streaming service. Now, while that service right now is by invitation only, they released the app to everyone that has Android 2.2 or above for you to play around with. And it's much, I can already say it's a far better app than what the default music application has. So um, let's take a quick look here. It's not going to be a real review, just sort of an overview of the functionality of it. We're going to save the review when we get the streaming service activated. So this is pretty much what you see when you first open it up, this domain menu here. It looks very similar to what you see in Android 3.0 tablets because they have ported that particular music app down into phones and it pretty much optimizes so it works with phones and on the phone screens pretty well as you see when we go through it. So you can go to different categories here at the top. You can go to artists, you can go to songs, and you can kind of slide up and down, well, left to right here rather. Oh, I'll slide that back up. Go to playlists, and you hit the little arrow there. You can play and edit. That, that actually comes into play in, in different parts of the uh, interface here. So let's say we want to play a particular album. Let's play my beautiful dark twisted fantasy. You see the background change to kind of maybe can reflect what the album art is. If you throw a little arrow next to it, you can quick play, add the playlist, shop for artists, or get more information by the artist. Those last two are going to actually open up the web browser. It kind of stinks. I was hoping for something more integrated into the app, but hopefully that'll come down in the future. I'm going to play a song. Just tap on it. The song starts playing, and this is sort of your basic controls here. You can tap on the album art. You'll get shuffle options. You can get repeat options. This is sort of where you can track here your songs. You have your play, pause, and you have your back, next, however you want to do it. And you have some different icons here. You have the little plus sign you can add to a playlist. You can create a playlist based on that. Hit Kanye West. It'll go to songs based on Kanye West. And we'll hit back here, and we'll go to we'll go right back to the album. And the cool thing is that while you're going all through that, you can see the little uh, equalizer bars here that kind of tells you that that, that particular song is playing. It'll start moving as it's playing. And you can see down here you have the play controls to play and then skip to the next song. Very useful feature there. Or you can go right back into the song like that. And hitting top here in the little um, headphone icon pretty much brings you back through the menu and pretty much back to the main screen here. That's pretty much how it works in portrait mode. Now looking at it in landscape mode, you can see here that you have the um, so this album art sort of collage here, which is pretty cool. And if we click on recent, it actually gives you that sort of that 3D kind of cool gallery that you can swipe through like that. And um, another cool thing I didn't get, actually didn't show you here is that let's say you come out of the application there, you're playing a song, come out of the app, you get the controls right here at the top, go right back into it. But just showing you that real quick, and that is the Android application. Real simple, real easy to use. Um, everyone should download it. It's much better than a default application. If you're using something like Winamp or if you have a Samsung with touch with TouchWiz and you're using that player, those are pretty much going to be a little bit better players for you. But music app is really cool. So this is Bowman here from BW1.com reminding you, subscribe to our YouTube page here. Follow us on Twitter. Become a fan of our Facebook fan page. We're also um, tradable on Empire E, so definitely check that out. All the links to all those social media sites are in the description, along with sort of a write-up here from BW1.com as well, too. And always remember to live your tech world in high definition. Like a smooth criminal.